As their sidecar business grew, so did the new automobile business. In the early 1920s, the emergence of a cheaper mass-produced small car provided real competition for the motorcycle and sidecar combination. And William Lyons was interested in these new world of cars and wanted to find a way to straddle both the motorcycle business and growing motor coach business. In fact, William Lyons had gone ahead and bought an early automobile, an Austin 7, and he was impressed by the simple and straightforward mechanics, but it wasn't a perfect car, and young William thought he could improve it. He also felt that there was a gap in the current auto market that could be exploited. The basic Austin 7 model sold for around 150 pounds, and they were best described as basic and nondescript.